Hey everyone, welcome back to more XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So we're going to continue our campaign here. We are now working on the Progeny, who are kind of the psychic uh, criminal faction in the city. Uh, I was playing around with some of my audio stuff, so hopefully everything's fine. Um, again, having weird stuff pop up. I think it's just because I'm using the, the built-in microphone on this laptop, and it's just weird sometimes. I can have the exact same settings, and then two times in a row, it's just not going to give me the same results. All right, anyway, um, I think we're kind of set for gear and stuff. We have upgraded uh, Verge's rifle here. So we've got Cyril on it. He's got bonuses to crit and to hit um, for people that he's got psychic effects on. We threw a scope on it as well, so really hopefully he won't miss at all. If we can damage multiple people, we could maybe use Cyril at one some point, drop a bunch of people on a mission. Um, we're doing a little bit of training for Torque here. So getting her dodge increased, mobility increased. She is a little bit slow, so the mobility helps a little bit. The dodge is mainly what we're going for. We are grabbing some cash because we're 100, well, 95 short of picking up the upgraded armor. So that'll give everyone extra health and some armor. So that would be fantastic. We're continuing doing some research. We are currently working on upgrading our spec ops to uh, so we can have two agents on stuff at the same time because they do have someone idle usually. Then we'll worry about maybe trying out. I'm, I'm really curious what this bubble grenade, bubble weave, and kinetic screen are. So those might be kind of fun. But we've got all the mastercrafted weapons. I'm thinking maybe going assault rifles first because if it comes down to it, we've got the androids that use those. And then also it would affect the rifle that Verge has. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm not actually sure what's going on in the city. Let's take a look. So this is still ticking up, and it's going to max out. I can freeze it somewhere. I've got a couple missions available. It's not showing me. They should be increasing by three. Let me just do this. Yeah, it's got a weird glitch where it doesn't actually show you the increase until you've kind of jumped in and then back out. All right, so here we're getting money. Here we're getting Illyrium. I honestly don't need the Illyrium. Uh, both places are at zero, so it doesn't really matter too much. So probably we'll go for this. Let's see what the other reward is. An epic assault rifle. All right, that's pretty cool. It might be something as useful or more useful than what I have already, although I only really have one character that uses an assault rifle. Or relocation disc, lift grenade, turncoat grenade. Well, that sounds interesting. So turncoat, I'm assuming, makes an enemy fight for me for a short amount of time. Lift, I'm assuming, does what uh, Verge's lift ability does. So maybe it's something we can only use in a breach. Relocation disc. Maybe we can teleport somewhere. Hmm. The Illyrium isn't that big a deal. Throwing units have increased HP is not a big deal. Huh. I suppose if I get an assault rifle, I could always equip it on one of the androids. So, XCOM HQ learned of an arms dealer intending to supply our opposition with a unique weapon. We should invite ourselves as a concerned third party. The credits I definitely need. Sorcerers or acolytes are present. We've run into a lot of acolytes and stuff in the past. I think we can deal with it. We've got a ton of flashbangs and stuff. I think we're pretty well equipped for that. Um, I might want to go ahead and freeze out this area just so it doesn't max out. I still have no idea what this does. Um, it's kind of a waste. I mean, it's more effective to use it here, so this would stay at zero. But I really don't have anything I can do about this once it maxes out. I'm not sure which is better. We could keep more places at lower amounts. If I did this one and freeze this, they're both going to be at zero. But this will be maxed out. If I freeze this, this will be at three. This will be maxed next day. So I'll, I'll buy myself one day only, really. Stacks is getting kind of bad. I kind of want to get this upgrade done so that I can have multiple people doing stuff at the same time. And we can start working on reducing unrest everywhere at the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should freeze here or here. Right now, missions that I ignore are going up by three. So really, anything else pops up, we're kind of screwed there. Um, maybe we'll just do it here, just because it's kind of what I've been doing. And we'll just buy ourselves a day, and that kind of works out for the timeline. 
So we'll do that. I think we'll go ahead and do this mission. Get the rifle, because that sounds kind of cool. Um, although the other stuff is kind of interesting. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Terminal has her submachine gun. She's got a flash bomb, so that's during the breach. Med kit, flashbang grenade. We've got a breaching charge on verge. AP rounds, flashbang grenade. We've got the scope there. Another breaching charge. I don't really need this many breaching charges, but I don't have a lot of other stuff. I can't take two grenades, unfortunately. I suppose I could swap this out for something else. I haven't actually seen something that's needed a breaching charge in quite a long time. So I kind of picked up an extra a long time ago and then haven't really had to use one. We've got the acid grenade, and then we've got the uh, trank rounds here, which is kind of nice. It just means we bring more people back for questioning, so we get more intel. We have the ceasefire bomb, flashbang grenade, and then a med kit. Got stock, scope, stock, insert improved stock, so two damage. I think it's a pretty good overall selection of stuff, although we could probably drop one of the breaching charges without a problem. What can I take instead? I have nothing. We'd have to spend some money, and I don't want to spend any money, so that's fine. Somebody else, like Zephyr um, or Torque, might have something on them. Okay, door and vehicle, so basically fine. Sorcerers or Acolytes are here, not a big deal. Let's go for it. Should get like a little intro here. Special weapon at this location. Hostiles unaware of our approach. Uh, we just rolled up in an APC. You'd think they'd be aware. All right. All you need to do is get plus 25 defense. Uh, we'll have Axiom go through first. There are two encounters, um, so we might want to save something. Let's go Verge, because we can possibly lift somebody. Cherub and Terminal. Go for it. Axiom going first will decrease the chance of people being aggressive. So it looks like we've got no aggressives. Let's see if there's anyone I can just erase if I can hit them. There's the Acolyte. If we hit him, I should probably drop him. I got another bomber. Cobras are getting kind of tough. Resonants kind of suck. It's, I think they're the ones that made all of the other psychers do more damage. Thrall. Okay, do I want to work on the Resonant, although my chance to hit isn't great, or go for the Acolyte, which might be a one-shot drop? Let's try the one-shot drop here. Miss! 84% miss! Alright, nobody's hostile, so I don't really need to lift anybody, it's not a big deal. I do have armor piercing here, so we ignore up to five points of armor. Can't miss the Resonant, that's pretty nice, we get him pretty hurt. Or we can do some good damage to the bomber. The bomber's going to be trouble because of the armor for everybody else. So maybe we just soften him up, although it's very tempting to hit the resonant. Let's go for the bomber just to soften him so we can try to take him out. Not now, but we'll take him out later. So let's see if we have shots on the resonant here and if they're not terrible. Okay, 91%. Sure, let's go for that. And let's see if you can take out the Resonant. I don't think I'm going to have enough damage. Yeah, it's not likely. Which is unfortunate. Full cover, making it difficult. Axiom going first. All right. Well, I have my typical combo we can use early on of Adrenal Surge, Smash, and then a Shotgun Blast. So we could smash the Trooper and then still take a Shotgun Blast at somebody, like maybe the Resonant back there. I could hit an area, but there aren't... Eh, maybe I could hit these two, but we're not going to take either one out. 
Let's try for a combo here. Hit the trooper with the smash, which might stun him, and then try for a shotgun blast back at the resonant, maybe. So we'll adrenal surge, which means we're very angry. Uh, I hate hanging out next to vehicles because they do tend to explode. So I'm going to go here, actually, even though it's not a great shot at the resonant. Okay, only a little bit of damage. We just disorient him. I could just shotgun him down. And I've got a shot at the resonant, but it's pretty bad. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll just have somebody else do it. Let's see if you can just finish him off. Yep, yeah, sleepy time. And yeah, that'll make Axiom a bit of a target, which I'm totally fine with. I'm fine. It didn't hit bone. Although those soul fires do a lot of damage. Okay. So Verge, we could do a psych attack of some kind. can't see the resonant. So if I shoot you, I'm very likely to kill you. So I could use Serial here, or we could just wait. Probably I'll just use the Psychic ability on somebody else, and then gun down the bomber. The resonant's not going to go for a while, so somebody else can probably finish him off. And I've got stocks on Terminal and on uh, Cherub. Maybe we could make someone shoot one of their buddies, too. Instead of just stunning him. Who's next? The Hitman. Alright, let's just try to stun the Hitman so he doesn't do anything. Okay, nice. No actions for you. Alright, we've got Puppeteer now. Verge mind controls all enemies in the neural network. This effect only lasts for the remainder of the turn. One use per mission. So I've only got one right now. I'll have to check and see what this does at some point. And I can't miss now, because I get aim and crit bonuses for everyone that I've done uh, psychic effects on. Let's just gun down the bomber. I like having Verge pretty much just can't miss once we start messing with people's minds. And we can just pick people off. Alright, I could go ahead and shield up Axiom, but I don't have a shot anywhere. If I move up, I might have a shot at the Resonant. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't have to be a good shot because I have a stock. There we go. Let's just drop him before he gets a chance to do anything. Nice. They think you an appealing target. Yep, they like Axiom a lot. Okay. So the Acolyte's next. I think I've got to go ahead and do a heal here. And Axiom is rooted, so he can't move, but I could give someone another action. I could potentially give Verge another action, because at this point he really can't miss any shots. Or we could go with Axiom, and he could just take a shotgun blast at somebody. Hitman's down. Where's Acolyte 3? Verge probably has a shot at him that's a little distant. I've got a shot at 62%, so Verge would have a better shot. Let's give Verge the opportunity to take a shot here, since he's got a damage bonus. Yeah, 100%. I can't miss. Not going to do enough damage, though, to kill anybody. Hmm... Four to six, is that's, I think I need seven to kill him. 
It's tempting to soften up the Hitman because he does have armor. But I think we'll just hit the Acolyte. We could also just stun him. It's our chance. 90%. He does have a chance to resist. Yeah, let's just mess with more people's heads. Try to stun him. See if we get lucky. Oh, I think he resisted. 90% failure. Well, Axiom doesn't like that very much. Can I still quake? Okay, I can, but I can't move. Right, you're flanked. Yeah, you're next. Let's just try to take you out. Yeah. Sleepy time. Okay, that car is going to blow up. That's going to be a problem. Uh, I don't know if Terminal's going to be able to get away before it blows. Hitman's stunned. We don't have to worry about him, so the Cobra is the next one to go. Let's just keep trying to knock people out. Okay, you've got no actions. Now I can't miss anything. Uh, yeah, like I said, the Hitman does have armor, so let's whittle him down a bit. Cherub might be in the blast zone of that car, too. I am hit, but still standing. Oh, I guess the stun was before. Not now. Okay. So you're stunned. Hitman's free. You've got to get away from here no matter what. This is only once per mission, right? Yeah, once per mission. Got no charges. He's on Overwatch, which kind of blows. I can kind of sneak in here a little bit and get a shot on him. Could also just go here. That's far enough away to be safe. That's full cover. I can't see him there, though. All right, let's go here. Chance to hit's pretty bad. I could just drop a shield on terminal just in case. I think she's fine if we move her before the end of the turn or the round. I could be wrong, but she did take a shot already. Let's go ahead and shield her just to be safe. Gives her an aim bonus too, which is always nice. All right, where do we want to move to? Yeah, let's just hop over there. Hopefully that's far enough away. I'd like to finish this guy off. Chances aren't really good, even with the 15% bonus. I mean, if I hit him, he's down. Let's try for it. All right, he is down. And Axiom's got armor that regenerates him, and he's got a skill that regenerates, so he can just come back from pretty much anything as long as he doesn't get one shot and downed. We go after the thrall here. You need an escort? Let's see if I can take him out. Yep. And those are Trank Rounds. So we're just putting him to sleep, so it's not really that big of a deal. Verge got hurt a little bit too. I wouldn't mind doing a little healing before we go into the next one. Terminal's hurt. Verge is down a little bit, although he will regenerate some at the end of the turn here. Hundred percent. Let's just hurt him or her. 
And we got two. I wasn't sure how many because the other one is down, but he's still alive. So it seems like if they're tranked, we still count them as being there for our healing at the end of the rounds. Which is nice. Okay. I can't drop him with a stun Heading over there. to bring him back alive, so let's just shoot him. Target down. Don't see movement. Locking down. Okay, we are a little bit banged up, but well, terminal's really the only one because we got that healing on Verge. Okay, we have main door. All units get 25% defense bonus for a round. Or main door, first unit through, does plus three damage during the breach. That's pretty cool. Hmm. So I think this... I think it goes in order, like number one first, then number two. So if I want to get Axiom's ability off, I think he's got to be first on the first door. I could be wrong. Um, if I am wrong, I would rather give him the damage bonus, but because I want to decrease the chance of people being aggressive, I'm going to go there. Um, here, I'm going to send Verge actually there. So we can do some extra damage with the armor piercing rounds, and we'll see if we can just drop somebody. What kind of grenades do I have? You've got a ceasefire bomb. Terminal has a flash bomb. Let's go flash bomb. And we'll send Cherub here. Actually, we could toss a couple bombs. It is the second of two. So yeah, let's do that. So let's flashbang and ceasefire. Have all of the grenades. So we're going to make your weapons not work, and we're going to flashbang you. And we're going to decrease your chance of being aggressive, because Axiom is just that scary. All right, we've got a Resonant. We have an Aggressive Bomber. We have an Aggressive Necromancer. Chances aren't great on those two. Tempted to just go for the Resonant because I can't miss him. The Bomber's going to toss a grenade, which is not good. I can't take out the Resonant. So Verge, if we take a shot at plus three damage, is still not going to be enough to take this guy out. Somebody else is going to have to shoot him and do some damage to him, too. I'm going to go for the Resonant here. Verge, I think, will go for the Bomber, and somebody else will go for the Bomber, and someone else finish off the Resonant. That'll leave us one aggressive. I could deal with it with... Uh, Cherub's ability. Now that is a crummy hit chance. You can definitely kill the Resonant. I'm going to try to go for the Bomber. Come on, hit. Oh, miss. Only one point. So I don't know if Verge is going to do enough. I have to go for the Bomber. It's going to be probably one damage short. Oh, miss! Oh, that sucks so hard. It was 80-some percent chance. Man, that's terrible. Okay. Um, drop the Resonant or go Phalanx. So the Necromancer's aggressive. I'm not sure what he's going to do on an aggressive stance. And I'm not sure. The Bomber might toss a grenade, which could be really bad. He might just shoot with a shotgun, too. Um, I'm going to have to go with the Phalanx, I think. We'll have to leave the Resonant alive for now. Okay, so we did just shoot. So Cherub sucked up both shots. No problem. No damage. We somehow panicked the trooper. Um, okay. Who kind of shot a sorcerer. I'm not sure what happened there. That's the target. 
Clear the generator room. Recover the impetuous spire. Which is where? Somebody's got it. Okay, he's got it. The one who freaked out. Alright, we've got Bomber. Resonance down there. He's not going to go for a while. Hmm. Could toss an acid grenade. Uh, can't get it that far. I am an okay cover. I really don't want the bomber doing anything, so we could go for him. We could try to finish off the resonant, about 70% chance. Cherub's going way last. Let's go ahead and use a team up here so we can get somebody to go a little bit faster in the timeline. And I'm actually going to have Verge go up next. Can do some uh, psionic messing around and then maybe follow up and kill the bomber. I can't do two actions because my Adrenal Surge is on cooldown. I mean, I could toss the Acid Grenade at the Bomber and then shoot somebody else. That would be enough for Verge to finish him off, I think. Because I'm pretty sure I can toss a grenade and still shoot. Yeah, let's try that. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Grenade out. Okay, that shredded him. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. It didn't look like he took any damage. And I'm going to try to take out the Resonant. Okay, sleepy time for you. Let me just take a look. Yeah, it's not enough damage. So two and three are next. Necromancer. Acolyte there. They're all going to have pretty decent resistances to my mental effects. I think I'm going to try to get the Cobra to attack one of his buddies. Let's try that first. Okay, that's fantastic. And then I can guarantee just nuke the bomber. Everybody else is pretty healthy, so cereal now really doesn't help me quite yet. I could have used cereal instead, potentially in that situation. We could have done that to take out the resonant that we shot with... Uh, Axioms, we could have done that kind of thing and done a few shots, but I'd like to save it. Going this way I think works out just fine. Heading out. And you're going to bring somebody back. Or make some Psy zombies. Spectral zombies, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So the Necromancer just became a higher priority target. I can do that. What are you doing? Your tether unbroken. Oh, that sucks. And he's now kind of a target. If I can take him out or affect his psionic abilities, then Verge will be fine. A flashbang would wreck his Psy Zombies if we hit him. Too far away to hit the Acolyte. I probably want to heal myself. So the Psy Zombies are way down there at 9 and 10, so I don't have to move, I could just do that. I 
kind of in a crummy spot here, honestly. Um, this is a much better position. If I could move up and then get the flashbang back on the Acolyte, we could clear Verge. I'm not sure if that's better or taking out these Psy Zombies before they get a chance to do anything just by flashbanging him, if that's better. Let's move into better cover and let's see what I can do. Okay, he's out of range. Yeah, let's just flashbang this dude. That'll make the zombies go away. Or not. He's immune to mental effects, so even being disoriented, he doesn't lose his size zombies. That's a bunch of crap. Okay, I can shoot you. I think that's kind of bull. That, that doesn't make him lose his zombies. I could give Axiom an action, or I could just take some shots here. Cobra's my best chance. I can try to use Chain Shot, but the chance to hit's going to be really low on the Necromancer. So Normal Shot, 75. Chain gets it down to 60. I have to hit the first shot to follow up. That's pretty risky. Especially if I could just give Cherub a chance and he could just shoot him. And then potentially shoot him again here in a minute. Let's do that. Actually, I could even shoot him three times and just gun him down. Supercharge. Actually, I forgot about this. We've got one charge. Cherub spends all stored charges and increases the primary weapon damage of allies. While placing a hollow targeting effect on all enemies, the duration increases with charge spent. So I'm assuming one charge equals one turn. What's my chance to hit? Necromancer is only 76%. I'm going to fanfire the Necromancer. Let's see if we can just gun him down with three shots to the face. That's a no. We missed at least one of those, I think. Even with the stock on there. He's got full cover, so he's taking less damage. Blood on my jacket? Uh, again? Shoot one of your friends. Shoot one of your friends. No. Okay. All right. Did you get hurt? Yes. Terminal got hammered. I'm going to put a shield on terminal. Shields up. Cuz she just got wrecked. I can't kill this necromancer. And chance that the acolyte's not great either. I don't know if I just hit him would stop him from being able to hurt Verge, or if I've got to actually drop him. All this psychic stuff is making things a bit more complicated. Let's work on the Necromancer. Oh, teleporting. Tyranny. I have no idea what that does. Giving them an action immediately. Oh great. Verge is also poisoned. Apparently Cherub's immune to poison. Maybe that's because he's he's got a med kit on him. Alright, I can go slam somebody and then take a shotgun blast. 
So I can make it down, I can slam the Cobra, which might stun him, and then try for a shotgun blast on the Necromancer, although it's not going to be a great shot. I don't have a lot else I could do. I could Quake. I can't get down there to get to him. Just barely, but it's kind of a waste. All right, let's go with the first plan. Let's smash you in the face. We'll go from about here and see if we can shotgun the uh, Necromancer down. Give me some kind of benefit. Okay, Disoriented's not bad. Five damage is also pretty good. I could just finish the Cobra off. I gotta try for the Necromancer, even though it's only 68%. Nice! That'll take care of those little zombies. No permanent damage. Verge gets slammed around. I couldn't see how much damage it was. Quite a bit, actually, because he's also poisoned. Not great. So I only have a psychic effect on the Cobra. Nothing else. I could do it to another guy, and then we could try to use Puppeteer immediately. I'm kind of in all this poison. I might have to heal him up or do something quickly. Once Terminal's active, maybe we can do that. Virgil heal a little bit on his turn. Ninety percent on you. Hundred percent on you. Acolyte's gonna go next. Let's try for him, even though he's got a chance to resist. Okay, he's not going to do anything. And then, yeah, let's try Puppeteer and see what it does. Unable to gain control. Okay, so I mind controlled the Cobra. But not the Acolyte. He's stunned, can't do anything though. Okay, terminal is pretty trashed. Do you still get, yeah, she still has a shield on her though. Let's heal Verge. They'll be fine. Good chance to hit down here. I could try to erase somebody with my chain shot. Try for it. Let's see if we can take you out with two shots before you get a chance to do anything. Nice. That's it. You're done. Still on my feet. Yep, that needs stitches. Yep, slight bit of pain. Just one charge. Okay, I think I'm going to drop a shield on Axiom. Armored up. Just going to try to get my charge up and increase people's aim a little bit. And I guess we'll work on the Sorcerer. Even if I miss, I'll do a little bit because of the stock. Teleporting. Not so nice. Surprise she's just shooting instead of doing some kind of psychic effect. Alright, I've got a Cobra. You've got Poison Spit. 
Hmm, we could go up and poison the sorcerer. Just shoot the sorcerer. Let's just put you out in the open, because I'm not sure when I'm going to lose mind control. What's this? Rooting Venom. Okay, so we can Rooting Venom, or we can Poison Spit. We're going to shoot you. That's got a good chance to drop you, so let's just do that. Yeah, bye-bye. Still mind controlled. Excellent. If I lose that mind control, terminal could be in a bit of trouble. So I may want to drop that Cobra sooner or later. Uh, the Acolyte's stunned. I think he's hasn't taken an action, so I think he's not going to do anything. Could just move up and point blank shotgun blast the trooper, or I could smash him. Probably do more if I shotgun blast him, so let's do that. Get a freaky camera angle here. Wasn't much. Okay, who's left that I haven't hit? The trooper? Let's try to stun him. Okay, that's something. I'm gonna spread some damage around. Well, maybe as I wanted to heal, but I could instead go ahead and serial kill that trooper, take a shot at the other one. Because it's just the two left. And we're pretty much at the end of the mission. So let's do it just to do it. So I've got to kill you first. Because if I don't kill you, I don't get a second shot. There's the gun. It's really nice to get this gun leveled up, and we can do a bit more damage with it. As she orders. I really don't like Verge. I, still stand. I guess he is kind of messing up with causing problems everywhere and healing himself in the process. All right, Terminal, let's heal yourself. Safeguard is a four-point heal. The med kit is six. So let's med kit. And I've got a stock, so sure, let's go for the shot. Don't know if we're going to keep control of the Cobra here, probably through the turn. I've got a stock, so even a miss will drop you. Just finish this off. Let's see if that'll end it, because we've got the last enemy mind controlled. Turtling. Yep, that's it. Just took it a second to figure out. Okay, Operation Knife Mist. Today we disarmed our opposition. Even better, we can find a good use for the weapon it recovered. So just wounded, lightly wounded, not too bad. Um, could have taken less damage there, I'm sure. Nine killed, five captured, five civilians rescued. So we kind of max out at 20 extra intel for capturing enemies. So at beyond a certain point, it doesn't really matter how many we capture. If it's four or five, it's probably 20 intel. If it's 10, it's 20 intel. So I'll take a look at the gun once we've got it, see what I want to do with it. I do like Serial on Verge. So we'll see what the ability on the other assault rifle is. I'll probably end up just putting it on one of the robots. Androids, whatever. Alright, so we got our 55 credits, which also works us towards our armor. 
So due to the decay of most standing structures, we recommend avoiding Old Town as a tourist destination. City services are expected to remain limited or non-existent until 2044. For a taste of Old World memorabilia, why not try the shops at Highland Square? All the deals without the danger. Nobody leveled up. That's too bad. The city is looking a bit crazy. Let's go take a look at the gun. Verge is the only guy that can use an assault rifle, so we'll take a look at this. So the Fortunate Blossom has Serial. The Impetuous Spire has Banish. What's Banish? During the war, a Miton engineer converted this assault rifle for rapid distribution, a phase we now know refers to its ammunition. What is Banish? Fire to target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Spanish can only be activated once per mission. Yeah, I've seen this before. Okay. That's really not bad. Um, but I think for what I'm doing with him, that's once a mission. It's killing one high priority target, which honestly is not terrible with AP rounds and a scope. But I think. Having Serial is better, being able to take multiple shots at very high aim chance and higher crit than usual. I just don't often wound a bunch of people and then have people I can pick off one after the other. I'm usually trying to just put people down as quickly as possible before they get a chance to do anything. I definitely think the other one could be really useful, though. Um, unfortunately, nobody else can use assault rifles, though, I don't think. Torque hasn't upgraded some machine gun. Just submachine guns, shotgun, submachine gun, pistol, assault rifle, pistol, nothing, shotgun. So we're kind of on to uh, my androids here, I guess. Actually, I, can, I didn't even realize I could give them shotguns and stuff instead. Yeah, you can have the Impetuous Spire... So if things go wrong, we'll definitely pull you in. Yeah, we'll just have to go with that. I've used the Android once, uh, but I've, I've come close to having to use them multiple times. I've had a few times where it was just kind of luck that, that kind of the end of that Sacred Coil mission was really lucky that we didn't have somebody else get dropped at some point. Take a look at the city. Okay, these are just the automatic ones um, that I can just kind of do, and then we're done. I kind of have to do this because I don't want this to max out. I'd rather get the money because then I could instantly get the armor. But we'll have this money in a day anyway. That gets me Illyrium, which honestly I don't need that much, but it just stops the switchyard from freaking out. It's only going to go up by one, but it's enough to max out that area, and then we'll get unrest uh, and an anarchy mission in this area that would cause problems. We'll have that storm mission available next time. Yeah, I feel like I've got to do this one. Locate the missing informant. One of 31PD's informants has gone missing. Providing them with access to one of our more sophisticated tracking equipment could help narrow the search. With access to our more, not one of our more. Yeah, we'll do that. Advance the day. Just stop things from freaking out. Angler's Point is up to five. I think that's where the uh, story mission is. Riverside's one. We managed to locate and safely recover the informant without blowing their cover. 31PD is extremely grateful. So we finished researching Spec Ops. We got the extra money there, and Torque is done with her training. The progeny uses psionic tampering of witness memories to escape. But to where? They must have a network of safe houses. Find them and remove them from the board. Okay, we just saw that. Training complete. Hi, Zephyr. Question for you. It's Zephyr. And stop making fun of my accent. No, I bask in it. It's my favorite of all accents. Get stuffed. Wait, I, I didn't get to ask my... Oh, crikey. I kind of wonder if the uh, Zephyr voice actress is actually a New Zealander. 
All right, so Spec Ops is set, so we can do a couple now. Um, we got our extra money, Intel, and Illyrium, so that's nice. Scavenger Market's open, and I can grab something for free. So what costs the most? Uh, the Expanded Mag, that's not terrible. I think the Superior Scope is better. Reflex Grip, Standard Shot does not automatically end the turn. Okay. So we could potentially take a couple shots with that. That's pretty cool. Who would that be useful on, though? Most people I'm doing some other kind of ability and then shooting. Axiom is the only one that only sometimes gets a chance to do that. Like Verge, I can do a psychic ability and then shoot. Terminal can heal and shoot. Torque, I'm usually grabbing somebody and squeezing them, so she's kind of out of play, but she's taking somebody out in the process. So I'm not shooting as much with her. Cherub is shielding and shooting. So really, yeah, Axiom. So I can occasionally smash somebody and shoot. If I have this, if I just stand in place, I can just shoot somebody twice with the shotgun. That's pretty darn nice. Alternatively, I could give his, I could put a scope on the shotgun, um, which is kind of crazy, and uh, increase the aim of the shotgun, and he'd be better at hitting targets with it. I would run out of ammo a lot faster if I was taking multiple shotgun blasts with it. But yeah, if I don't move, then I could shoot twice. That is very nice. Um, I don't know that there's anyone else that I necessarily would want to use that on. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Let's do that. And I've got extra intel for stuff, but I, I might want to look at upgrading stuff here. Um, okay, let's... Before I forget, go to Axiom... Look at your shotgun. Give you a nice reflex grip. Hopefully not forget I've got it on there. Okay, that's step one. Training complete, so dodge increased, mobility increased. Very nice. Got our money, fine. We'll see what we want to do afterwards. We definitely want to get this, so that's plus three HP, plus one armor, and utility item slots. So what do we research next? Um, like I said, it is very tempting to check out this bubble stuff, or we can go for assault rifles. I think that's kind of the way to go. It does take six days. I've got tons of Illyrium, so that's not an issue. Um, I probably should jump on this because I honestly don't know how fast we're going to get through all these story missions to get to the end of the investigation on the progeny. So I might want to prioritize damage. I'm really curious what these do, though. If I do this, we increase the damage of Verge, and I think that's going to be really helpful with the abilities. And then if we have to rotate in that robot, we've got the assault rifle on him too. Let's just do that. And Blue Blood can stay there doing that. That's fine. He's lower rank. He can't do a lot of other things. So with the armor and stuff, let's just take a look at people here. So now that's 14 health and armor. Axiom's up to 15 and 2 armor. It's actually less than I expected. Verge, 13 in armor. 15 in armor. Actually pretty tough for Cherub there. 14 in armor. Nice. I wish it would actually change the way we look, though. As far as I can tell, yeah, nothing looks different. I wish upgrading the weapons would also make them look a little different. Like, we're still using what looks like basic weapons, except for the epic ones. Okay, we've got two spec ops and some training. I don't know that there's any great training opportunities. 
HP. Zephyr's mobility, that's okay, but not super fantastic. Torque can't do anything. Do I want to swap out who's in the team? I do like having Torque in there. I'm just not sure. I've got to have Terminal. I've got to have Axiom. They're my, my core. Uh, Verge, I've spent a lot of time invested in uh, getting him where I want him to be, so I feel like having him there is also nice. Cherub is a really good utility character, but Torque is really good at taking an enemy just out of the equation. Zephyr's decent, but Axiom is better, at least in my opinion. Um, so it really comes down to, do I want Torque or Cherub in the team? Cherub is at max level, Torque is not. So maybe we'll just swap Torque out for now. I don't even think you have that many ranks up. Well, you're up to three. So I've got Poison Spit, the Bind, Improvement, the Toxic Reading. Yeah, I'd like to at least get a few, uh, the option to, to have a couple choices here and see what we can do to kind of build on her. So let's put you in for now. That gives me a bit more options. I don't know why Cherub's not showing up here and Agent's being idle, but okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think, I've got that mission to go on. That's going to go up, but it's not going to max out. We'll definitely be doing that next. That'll drop the unrest and give us some cash. So spec ops. Let's go cherub. Um, let's do humanitarian aid to reduce unrest everywhere. What else do we have? For field team. Well, I've got field teams everywhere, so I'm not sure if this actually will upgrade. Scavenger market's going to take too long. Uh, City Anarchy's at zero. Extra XP. Yeah, I think the Humanitarian Aid's the best call. So let's do that. And then I'm tempted to leave somebody free in case somebody does get hurt. So having Zephyr as a backup, instead of having him her tied up for a really long time, I think is a good call. Send Godmother, but she can only do basic stuff, which is... Um, basically, money, intel, or Illyrium. Illyrium's good. Money's probably what I want to do because I just blew a bunch. So let's have her get some extra money for us. That leaves Zephyr free to fill things out. I could work on getting her mobility increased, but then she's out for three days. I think I'm just going to leave her free in case somebody does get a scar we could immediately throw somebody in to start getting rid of it swap zephyr back into the squad i think that's what we're going to go ahead and do that's the plan anyway so do i want to upgrade okay i at least should upgrade this so we'll get an extra benefit so we at least get them to rank two which will mean an extra illyrium immediately when we do the mission I've got one other rank one, I think. Yeah, I've got a uh, technology rank one down here. So that's also Illyrium. Illyrium's doing fine, so I don't feel like I need to upgrade that. If I'm going to do a mission, I'll upgrade them first because it just gives us an extra benefit to do missions in that area. So we basically just get an extra 20 Illyrium there. Um, let's see. Can I afford anything for 65? No. All right, that's fine. If I had enough, I might have picked up the scope too, or maybe even the mag for uh, Axiom. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, let's take a look. What's your stuff? What are you equipped with? Okay, I don't have anything else on here. It'd be nice to pick up like more stocks and scopes and you know that kind of stuff. I can buy some basic things. The basic ones are just really weak. 
Got a little bit of money. Yeah, 80 bucks for five aim is really not great. Um, 75 bucks for 5% crit chance isn't fantastic. And 60 bucks for miss shots to do one damage is okay, but we're running into a lot more enemies with armor now, so it's just being negated by the armor. Um, some of them don't, so it's not like total waste to have a stock. But I feel like for the value, um, the really minor improvement to the weapon isn't really worth the amount of cash I'm shelling out. I could potentially just grab a couple stocks and be out of money, but I think we're going to live with it. All right, so I think we're pretty much set. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and stop it here. Next time we'll do the next story mission. So uh, this has been more XCOM Chimera Squad. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again another time. Have a good one.